It is Sunday morning. We are packed. We've transferred all of our goods in and around between the trailer and the Model X. Model X is down to 58%. We're heading over to the local supercharger. My wife, since she's in her own Model Y, is heading over to get us a Scottish breakfast. We need about 10 minutes of charge, so we're heading over there now. It's our lucky day. Look at this. Nobody's on the end spot. So we're just going to ninja it in here and get uh, charged up. Just only a few people, so that's cool. Let's see, I guess we'll gobble up a couple. All right, we've arrived at 55% and uh, we're going to get charged. Here we are. We went from, uh, what was it, 4% uh, on arrival now to 12%. Things are moving along. It looks like we're uh, still at 55 kilowatts. Battery's relatively cool. But that's all right. As soon as Susie arrives, we're hitting the road. We are charged 72%. And uh, if we look at our stats here, our arrival percentage is 18%, 101 miles to go. We'll arrive at 931. My lovely wife, Sue, uh, went to the Scottish breakfast and got us some Scottish breakfast. So we're ready to roll. Hello and good morning. Yes, we are up here on Interstate 40 westbound. We're on cruise control, not autopilot. Uh-oh. Now it's 65. It's fine. The uh, adaptive cruise control will adjust us here. Anyway, uh, we are uh, towing the trailer. Uh, everything is set for heading to Wyoming now. I've got Greg here. Say hi, Greg. Hey, good to see all of you again. Yeah, so Greg and I are in the Model X here, and uh, my wife uh, is in her Model Y, and uh, she is headed to uh, Bucky's in Crossville Supercharger there. Uh, we're going to stop there and uh, juice up a little bit. Uh, we are uh, going to eventually go to Nashville. Uh, my wife's going to drop her car off and uh, get in here with us, and off to the north we go. Next stop for us uh, tonight will be Mount Vernon, Illinois. We'll spend the night there, get up early, and head to Rochester, Minnesota. We have some antenna work to do, so we're heading up there to help our buddy Scott. We're just passing the city of Knoxville and uh, head that way. We'll clear Knoxville and on the other side is Crossville where Bucky's is. We'll grab a charge there. We're on the west side of Knoxville now. Looks like uh, 61 miles to Bucky's. 14% on arrival and we have 50% in the battery. So we're good. Weather's nice today. Uh, what's temp? 68. It's not bad. This is kind of interesting. Look at that truck, how he's tailgating us here. We've been driving all day and this dang truck is right there. Oh, wait. No, it's just a trailer. All right, let's do an energy check here. Just going up the hills here. Looks like uh, arrival is 8% now and 12 miles at Bucky's supercharger, which is fine. As long as we roll in at something north of zero, we're good. In fact, we could even roll in less. As you guys can see, the, uh, the scenery here in Tennessee. 
to see is just awesome. It's uh, just a great ride here on Interstate 40. And yes, the trees are starting to turn to fall. This trip we've been running the speed limit of 70. Last trip using the Model X and the trailer we did 65. And I think uh, we're going to be running 70 at least uh, for this whole trip. I think uh, we can manage the drag and uh, all that. So we'll see what mileage we get per charge. Well, here's our exit. Now take exit 320 on the right. Uh -huh. That will do. A million gas pumps here at uh, Bucky's. Oops, get over there. And uh, supercharger. So we will uh, get there. We thought there might be a pull in, but there's not. So we're going to do the same thing we did in Nashville. We're going to gobble up two spots. And uh, hopefully if I can make this turn without bashing things, I can uh, get ninja'd in here. Okay, all right already. Let's see if we can uh, get hooked up and uh, only use two spots. Yeah. All right, let's check our, um, let's check our stats here. We've got 104 miles uh, since the last supercharger. We use 55 kilowatt hours and rate of 532 watt hours per mile. Uh, we arrived with uh, a whopping 7%, but that's okay. I think we're good. Uh, Greg's uh, documenting all our stuff. Let's get hooked up here. All right, it's uh, ramping up here. We're still uh, only 8%. So we're gonna run inside and use the facilities here. Yeah, maybe you've never seen this. I haven't. It's the first time I've been here, but I've heard uh, a million gas pumps, two solid aisles of gas pumps. the dark roast it's as bitter as robusta coffee it's nasty she says it's always bitter and I think there's something wrong apparently the uh, house blend is not bitter we're doing well 62 percent 98 kW at 62 percent reads eight minutes on Ron arrival and uh, we'll be leaving here and uh, arriving in Nashville swap around some vehicles and head north today Sue's gone, uh, she stopped, uh, got charged up, went to Bucky's and is on the road. We'll follow her up here as soon as uh, the car tells us it's ready to go. All right, we are at 77%. The car says we are uh, uh, good to go. And uh, if I look over here on this screen, it says we have enough energy to continue our trip. Looks like a rival percentage of 14%, 111 miles to Nashville. And I think we'll wait till this gets to about 15% on arrival and we will hit the brick. 
We're going to run this to our set of 83 and we're almost there. Still at 65 kilowatts here at 82%. It's pretty decent. A lot of that depends on the size of the charger. All right, we're getting there. Got one more percent to go and uh, we're disconnecting and hitting down the road. All right, let's have a look over here. It looks like 18% on arrival. Now, uh, I set it to Nashville, but I'm going to reset it now to the supercharger at Nashville. I've just uh, recalculated to the supercharger in Nashville. Figured we better top up. Looks like 21% on arrival and uh, 109 miles. All right, we are done charging. Let's uh, disconnect 83%. Now this is interesting, there's a Shell gas station with two cars in it, and there's 200 cars across the street. Do you think their business got uh, affected here by the Bucky's? Their fuel depot for trucks is empty, but they do have solar, so that's a good thing. Look at the line of cars coming into Bucky's. <laughs> wow. If you look close, you can see there's absolutely two rows of four pumps per row uh, per stall. Wow. And they're full. And they're absolutely full. Good business model for sure. We're up on Interstate 40 westbound now. Just left Bucky's here and uh, got to tell you, that is quite the place. 56 pumps or something like that. and. 16 superchargers but it was good we've got a good charge and we're headed to nashville let's have an update 53 percent in the battery now we have changed our arrival we're going to the supercharger in a place called mount juliet tennessee it's new version three uh, our buddy lee and chuck uh, who came to the event is heading back to kansas city and uh, we'll stop there. 39 miles, 25% uh, on arrival, and 34 minutes out now. What a nice day. All right, we're getting close to Mount Juliet Supercharger. 31 in the battery. Looks like we're going to arrive with 29%, which is fine. And uh, we've got six miles to go. Hey, is that a Rivian van? I think it is. Right here. Check it out. Yeah. Yep, sure is. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Nice Rivian van. Cool. All right, uh, one tenth of a mile here. Looks like we are. It's a supercharger. Turn left onto Old Pleasant Grove Road. Yeah, that's it. Oh, look, you can do your tires here. Firestone. Looks like it's in the back of this little uh, park, industrial park. No, nope. I'd say it's a shopping center of some kind. Yeah, All right, well, let's see how it goes. Hmm. Oh, now turn left onto Old Pleasant Grove Road. Wow, this is weird. Is it not accessible from this parking lot? Huh. It is not. There it is. Yeah, oh, I see. Here we go. It is uh, accessible from this part of the parking lot. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, there's a pull in. Now turn right onto Old Pleasant Grove Road. All right, well, let's see if we can do this here. This is good. Yep. Works out just fine. Well, it works out because there's no uh, supercharger next to us. No. So it works out. Yep. All right, well, let's check our stats here. We've got uh, 199 miles. Uh, we've got uh, 102 kilowatt hours used and an average burn rate of 515. Arrived with 28%. I think we're good. Let's get charged up here. We're charging up here in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. It's a new supercharger. I'll show it to you in just a second. It's really kind of odd, but you know what? They shoehorned it in here and it's in a good location just off the highway. All right, so our next stop here will be Katawa and uh, we're minus 25% to get there. 
So we're going to charge up extra because uh, we've got to mess around in Nashville a little bit and I want to make sure we can get there. So we're going to charge up. It says 25 minutes. We'll go probably a little bit more than that. Got a good hit of steam going here at 43% and on 148 kilowatts. So we'll let this thing cook here and uh, there you go. Well, here you are. This is an oddball looking supercharger, but you know what? It's shoehorned in here. If we look at it, there's a McDonald's next to us. It's kind of shoehorned in on this property here. And across the street, there's Subway and a burrito place. And there's Cheddar's next door if you want to grab a bite to eat, which is pretty good. If you want to go to McDonald's, it's even closer. So there you go. If eating around here is great. The supercharger being an 11 stall version 3 is pretty cool. It is kind of a mixture of pull-ins and uh, back-ins. And believe it or not, we look here. That's a back-in with on the side kind of weird well there you go we're charging up and we'll be heading to Katawa just about ready to roll over 90 percent which is our set yep there it goes we have enough to continue our trip once this rolls over at 90 this will give us enough energy to not only get to the next charge stop Katawa it'll also allow us to get into our pickup for my wife in Nashville, and that should work. 89%, still 41 kilowatts here. There it is, 90%. We are good to go. So there you have it. All right, let's unplug and move on down the road. We are mobile. Yeah, trying to get out of this parking lot. Yeah, I don't think it goes that, so it's a uh, wall, but I think maybe here, maybe, yeah. This one does it. It's kind of funny, the um, parking in this uh, park here. It's kind of strange, but it's okay. There we go. All right, we're getting on the road here now. Off to Nashville. Greg and I are up on Interstate 40 westbound, 10 miles to our turn, and uh, we're getting down the road. We're going to go and meet my wife here in Nashville, and then we are going to uh, head north. Interstate 24 Northwest, leaving Nashville. Weather's nice, Six, make that 87 degrees, but broken clouds looking good. Let's do an energy check, 53% in the battery. We look over here, it looks like 10% on arrival and 63 miles to go. Welcome to Kentucky. Yep, we're in Kentucky now. Let's have a look around. You're in Kentucky. We're charging up here in Katawa, and this is the first stop. We had to actually disconnect the trailer. The uh, people pull into the trailer only spots here and it really would be handy if they would actually try to park in some of the other ones. All right, well, we're charging up. It's 150 here. And just like that, we're the only one charging. Just about charged here, ready to head to Mount Vernon. 86% in the battery. We have 13% uh, on arrival, 127 miles to go. I think we're good to go. Let's disconnect and hook up the trailer. We're at 86% here and I think we're good to go. We're back on northbound Interstate 24. We're gonna meet up with uh, 50 something up here, I think, but uh, we're next stop will be Mount Vernon, Illinois. Arrival percentage now showing 10. Yeah, we're just about ready to go over the river here. Yeah, this is the Tennessee River. It's kind of down, actually. These old riveted bridges are cool. Just leaving Paducah and crossing the Ohio River now. Ohio River is uh, pretty wide. 
like. We can see it here once we uh, get up here. It's a double span riveted bridge. percent on arrival in uh, Mount Vernon evaporated. It's uh, been all uphill here and uh, I don't know if there's a little wind. Anyway, we got rerouted to stop for 10 minutes in Marion for a charge, so that's fine. And then uh, on to Mount Vernon. When I removed the charge stop, it said we arrived with 1% in Mount Vernon. Well, that's a little close. Anyway, there you go. We're going to stop here in Marion, uh, Illinois. It's a new supercharger anyway. We'll see how it goes. All right. We are supposed to get off on 54 Bravo. Should be this next one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I do. In 500 feet, turn left. Then you will arrive at your destination. I do believe that uh, we've been here last time. Yep. And I'm going to pull in right on the end. That's uh, going to be tough beans. Yeah, yeah we were here, uh, I think, on our last trip up. So this is okay. Now turn left. Somebody comes. We only need 10 minutes, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, yeah, see? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to ninja on the end, too. Yeah. 10 minutes of charging should be All right, well, here we go. Now Uno. Turn left onto Morgan Avenue. Dos. Okay. Or actually, I used up three, but it's the way it is. I can't get in the other. Let's get hooked up. This is Marion, Illinois Supercharger. It has uh, been here a while because we've come once before. There's uh, three available spots. We've gobbled up actually three spots. Well, now there's four available spots, which is just fine. And uh, we just only have 10 minutes. Now probably about seven minutes, and then we're on to Mount Vernon, Illinois. Five minutes to go, 41%. We just need a few percentage to get ourselves to Mount Vernon, which is fine. So I gotta show you. Now there's seven available. We did gobble up three, but I would move if they had a lot of people, but the two that were here are gone. And uh, there you go. 10 minutes to charge, it's not an issue. This is the very first exposure I've had to a Tesla Magic Dock. You've heard about it, now I'm seeing it. And uh, it's a CCS plug here, a big old fat, ugly thing with a, a Tesla NAX connector plugged into it. To remove it, you push up on the NAX connector and it pops free. And the CCS is there, okay? And uh, it allows you to use your app and plug in your um, CCS type car. There you have it. I haven't seen one, but now there it is. 57%. Look at that. 29 arrival in Mount Vernon. I think we're good to go. All right, let's hit it. Do an energy check, 41 in the battery. Arrival uh, remains 31, that's good. And uh, about 14 minutes to go here. The land of the billboards here in Illinois. Must be a, a state thing or something, I'm not sure. All right, here we are. Let's see. Now take exit 94 on the right. Yeah, 94 on the right. We'll do it. All right, well, there's Supercharger here. And 
and they're all back in and we're gonna have to disconnect, I think. We're here at Mount Vernon, the new V3. It's an eight stall, all back in. Be nice if there was a pull in, but there's not, it's okay. We uh, plugged in and uh, we're good to go uh, as soon as uh, we get to about 85%. 89%. One minute should be any second here now. We're just arbitrarily charging to 90%. We'll probably lose probably eight to 10 overnight with the sentry mode. And then uh, we hit the road and head up to uh, our place in Rochester, Minnesota. All right, that's it. Calculating, ciphering as they call it where I live. All right, charge complete, 90%. Let's disconnect and hit it. We're hooked up? Yes, we are. Check it out. There it is. All right, 90%. Uh, we're heading over to get a little something to eat. Another dinner here at Agave. It's right across from the supercharger, 150 kilowatt version. That food's pretty good. The salsa is excellent. Service is good. Nice place. Stop by. We are at the hotel, yes we are. And uh, we're gonna go check in and uh, do our thing. Let's have a look at the stats. We have arrived at the hotel. It was a good day. Stopped in Nashville, dropped off my wife's car, messed around a little bit and then headed north here to Mount Vernon, Illinois. Today uh, we've driven uh, quite a bit, another uh, 456 miles. 245 kilowatt hours of energy used at a rate of 537. I'm not sure what we were getting into, a headwind or whatever, but it was uh, up a little bit from the average. So far on this trip, uh, two days, we uh, have driven 583 miles, 304 kilowatt hours of total energy used, and we've averaged 522 watt hours per mile. Not bad. If you like today's video, give me a like, pass it on to your friends, and if you're not currently a subscriber, please subscribe. You don't want to miss anything going forward. Don't miss the rest of this series. We've got a long way to go to get to Wyoming. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you in tomorrow's video, and take care.